And it's got no lights. None. And look at the speedometer. You shook the needle right off it so fast. I'm going to be using my good old test light for this video. This is the key. The key's on. I think the red one's hot all the time, right? Yep. The red wire on these bikes is a 12 volt hot line directly from the battery through the fuse. Not to get too complicated, but this is the battery in the schematic. There's the fuse. And this is the red wire that runs to the switch. And when you turn the key on, so it's this black line. The black line is a switched wire on these bikes. This is your ignition switch, and as you can see, the black wire that comes out and branches off to the rest of the bike. That goes to what? That goes back into the harness. I think there's only one fuse in here. Yeah. And the fuse is alright, the one that's. This is where your gear position switch is that shows the neutral light. There's the schematics. There's the ignition switch. The red wire is supposed to go to the black wire. And then that feeds everything. Your flash, your relay, your light switch. Starter switch. Is starter still working? The horn still work? Oh, you don't have a horn. Then you got flash, or relay, and oil position sensor. What they meant was fuel gauge. So the black one should have power here. The black one has power here. Oh, this black one that goes up into there. Yeah, it is. Oh. The black one that goes into there is getting power like it should. Might have to look under the tank. I don't remember anything being under there. Oh, it is a diode. The diode's there because the neutral switch and the clutch are both on a safety circuit for the starter. If the diode wasn't there, the neutral light would come on when you squeeze the clutch. The only thing I can't see is where all these black wires are connecting. Where the hell are all these black wires connecting? Alright, here's a bunch of black wires connected together right here. But they're all going forward, see? And then there's one black going back, see it? So that's still connected. So there's a black one that's coming back. There's a splice here. It's here. Shut the key off. Yeah. So the power comes all the way back to here. So that this. Oh, that's the flasher. That's the blinker. And then the other one goes. Yeah, one goes down to the brake switch, and that's getting power. That's got power. Did your rear brake switch ever work? It was always a pain in the ass, remember? Never, never worked. You got power here, too. Coming back to that light. You got power coming back at your bulb. On that one. Yeah, to get it. This is supposed to have power going through it when it's connected. And there's nothing here. Because when you put the blinker on, because it runs through this and then goes up to the blinker. Yeah, and it's problem. dead. This one you can adjust how fast you want to do the flasher. It's also solid state, right. so it'll work with LED bulbs. Cause yeah, that's all Chris wants to know if it works. Yep, there it is. Have faith. Look at that, huh? Which one? And this don't click because this is a solid state one. Wow, Chris, now you got fucking blinkers again. Right? <laughs> you can ride like a normal person? He still can't ride like a normal person. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> He had to ride like a normal person, he wouldn't ride anymore. I know.
All right, so now what's not working? Everything's working? That's working. I hit your brake. It never, never, really, never really worked. Much. Well, there's not even any power to that switch, which is kind of... Yeah, man, you got a lot of electrical problems. What'd you do, man? He fucking threw it together and ran it. That's what he did. No, nah, I think he popped too many wheelies. Look at Maybe. Custom brake light. No, nah, that one the switch is fucked. Wait. See? No power. No power. So let's follow this back. Look at it. Power there. Oh, it's sparking easy. Where? It just sparked off the fucking chalk. Oh, I touched that? <laughs> what colors are these? No power. Oh, there it is. It's a bad, bad connection here. As soon as I pull on it, look. See? Head right there. Repair pliers. Look. So is it going to work when we hook it up now? I don't know, is it? I don't know. You it's got power going through or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you um, no. I'm trying to get First it. First time. Crimped it too hard? Working? Nope. No? Jump. Nope. Fucking jump. <laughs> Right. That's working here. Look. Ain't working here though. Squeeze it. Hey Chris. With the wire? No, it's a bulb. Yeah. Huh? Oh, the bulb's no good? It's gotta be. Squeeze it again. I'm on the other side of the switch. It's gotta be a bulb. <laughs> it's gotta be a bulb. <laughs> Fucking Chris, man. <laughs> yeah, I do. He didn't ask me. Put the LED in her. See it? Yeah, boy. So now to test the headlight switch. The black has power coming in. Then this wire should be live when you turn it on, which goes to the transfer switch with a high-low switch. Then, of course, this wire is low. This wire is hot. And of course, green is always ground. If your running light is on and your headlights aren't working, check your headlight socket. If that's working, check your ground. Might have a bad connection. This guy wants a race. It's a race! Uh oh! <laughs> Too old for a three. 